I was the fastest girl in America. I set many national records and I was a straight A student. When I was 16, I got a call from Alberto Salazar. Um, he was the world's most famous track coach. And he told me that I was the best he'd ever seen. During my freshman year in college, I moved out to train with him and his team full time at Nike World Headquarters. Um, it was a team of the fastest athletes in the world and it was a dream come true. I joined Nike because I wanted to be the best female athlete ever. Um, instead, I was emotionally and physically abused by a system designed by Alberto and endorsed by Nike. This is what happened to me. When I first arrived, an all-male Nike staff became convinced that in order for me to get better, I had to become thinner and thinner and thinner. Um, this Nike team was the top running program in the country and yet we had no certified sports psychologist. There was no certified nutritionist. It was really just a bunch of people who were friends with Alberto. Um, so when I went to anybody for help, they would all just tell me the same thing. And that was to listen to Alberto. Um, Alberto was constantly trying to get me to lose weight. He created an arbitrary number of 114 pounds and he would usually weigh me in front of my teammates and publicly shame me if I wasn't hitting weight. Um, he wanted to give me birth control pills um, and diuretics to lose weight, the latter of which is not allowed in track and field. Um, I ran terrible during this time and it reached a point where I was on the starting line and I'd lost the race before it started because in my head, all I was thinking about was not the time I was trying to hit, but the number on the scale that I'd saw earlier that day.